Okay, okay there, start recording. Hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, that's Will Durst. Right How's over the there. weather in New York? The weather in New York is it's sunny today, and but the temperature is forty six degrees. I can tell because I have my watch and it tells me what the temperature. Your is. Apple Watch. My Apple Watch. Yeah. So I he, see he, the weather over your left shoulder. Yeah. Well, this is uh, this is the city back there. And this is a green screen here, so you know this is all fake, you know. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, let's see more of your face. Bring you, bring it. Try and keep it in there. I know it's difficult. Uh, I'll keep my head up. Yeah, but you see there, it's I just got the top of your head. I know, but it's the best part of my head. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, all we see are your glasses now. There we can't you can you move the camera? Uh, actually, are you having trouble holding it? Is that the problem? See, we, Will has an excuse for everything now. You know, like when, I had a vascular incident. A vascular incident, exactly. What happens is, is you call any business and they, they're on, you're waiting on hold forever. When you finally get them, you go, why have I been on hold so long? And they say, well, you know, COVID, right? So COVID's become this catch-all excuse for everything. So when you don't get your picture perfect, you just say, well, in your case, I had a stroke. I had a vascular incident. A vascular incident. During so, COVID. No, just prior to COVID. Actually, you picked a good year. You wouldn't have been working anyway. No. Yeah. But anyway, how how you doing, pal? I would have, I would have practiced a couple of times. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. Shitty. Life sucks. The world hates me. I'm living in a cartoon. How are you? Uh, fine. Pretty much the same, except I'm not. I didn't have a stroke, and I'm not. How long have you have you been in a Shall we say, non-mobile state? Uh, two years on October seventh. Oh, geez, of this year. Yeah. So it's over two years. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Two years and two months now. What are they doing to get you out of there? Um, they claim to be doing therapy, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Yeah. It seems to be hindering. What do you mean hindering? How 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 do how is it a hindering? Uh, no pain, no gain. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing that shit. No pain, yeah. no gain. Yeah. Well, you've had quite enough pain. Where's the gain? Exactly. Yeah. So, wh wh where does it all stand now? I mean, you're not standing, but where does it all stand now? Yeah, that's the problem. I can't stand. I can't walk. Yeah. Well, I I never can I never could stand anything. So you're lucky you've got something. Uh, but but uh, so you can't walk. Okay, that's the that's the biggest problem. So it's holding me back. Could you walk with like a walker? They say they don't want to try me on the walker yet because I can't support my weight on my left leg. So you have to support your weight on your leg in order to use a walker. Yeah. Okay, so you the only way you get around it all is wheelchair, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Is there a TV set on there? Can you turn it off? I can turn it off. T turn it off. It, 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 we're getting... We, we just got a commercial for Liberty Mutual or whatever. There we go. Liberty, Liberty. Yeah. So anyway, hey, how much how much money is there in insurance? How much money is there in insurance? Yeah, there's a lot of money in insurance. Apparently, because they they're the ones who are running every ad. Well, the, the, you know why they do it this time of the year is because it's the uh, it, it, uh, October seventh is the last uh, December seventh. Wasn't that Pearl Harbor Day? December seventh yeah. is the last day you can uh, get your supplemental insurance. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's that. Yeah, uh, yeah there's that sign-up period every year. But I, but I mean, all these, you know, Liberty and 
all states and uh, oh they they're they're all out there with their ads and we're yeah you know get our your supplemental and whatever but you know i mean what i find is disgusting okay is that for instance i pay out of my social security about 200 dollars a month for medicare all right right that, that's for starters then i have to have it only takes care of 80 percent all right so I've got to get somebody to take care of the other 20%. The supplemental. Yeah. And you, you don't want to get the advantage because the advantage really wipes out your Medicare. And then they take over. And then they get paid by the government for administering your account. So they like that. But then they have the supplemental. And that's basically very cheap. Okay. Then there's the supplemental. The supplemental is simply what it says. It's a supplement to the... 80 percent and takes yeah, care of yeah. all the rest but that so cost that's costing us 320 bucks a month luckily marjorie's company is paying for it for for your supplemental yeah that's good. yeah but for the time being as long as she's working there uh but when you think about it if i were paying it all out of out of pocket i'm paying 500 dollars a month to take care of the 20 uh, percent that the government doesn't take care of what kind of deal is that? You know? Everything should be taken care of. Poor little Will. Let's do a telethon here. Poor little Will lying in his bed. Look at him. Isn't he pathetic? Give me a pathetic look. There. Isn't he pathetic? You know what we got to do? We have to do away with that 20% that the government doesn't pay so that he can get his, his health back where it should be. Look more pathetic. Look more pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, that, oh, that, good, good. Great pathetic look. Yeah. Okay, you can stop looking pathetic. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Oh, tell them how they can contribute to my GoFundMe account. Oh, t t tell them about that, because you've raised a lot of money. Yeah. There are a lot of people out there who love Will Durst. Yeah. They don't uh, know you like I know you, but they love you. And you have this GoFundMe, you have this GoFundMe for Will Durst. How much yeah. have you raised to date on that? I don't know. Debbie's keeping track of it. I see, seem to think it's somewhere around two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but there's only we've already spent a hundred thousand. Yeah, well, I, I I could imagine, you know. I mean, the rent on my board and care is seven grand a month. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I've been here 12 months. And the government doesn't take care of it? The, the, your... No, Medicare doesn't take care of it. No. How about the... And, how about the... And, yeah, yeah. and I got a stair lift in my house. Yeah. Well, you see, the, 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 the supplemental won't take care of that. If Medicare doesn't approve it, then they don't take care of it. See? So, I mean, but why won't they, why won't they approve it? I mean, you're lying there in a hospital. You can't go anywhere or at least a nursing home, or what? What's it called? Healthcare facility? What is it? A you're, board and care. Board and care. So you're lying there bored and you don't care, right? That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. board and care, and that's costing seven thousand dollars a month. Now, what if you can't come up with the seven thousand a month? Do they just dump you on the street? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. Oh boy. So it's nice that they're caring for you, but, you know, it has its limitations. Yeah, the caregivers are all Filipino. <laughs> they usually are in those places. And my mother was in, was in the Jewish Home for the Aged, which is, I think you were in at one point. Yeah, were, the food there is awful. Really? It used to be wonderful. It was the most wonderful facility in the city. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. My mother was there for, God, maybe two, three years, and they took good care of her when we ran out of money, when she ran out of money, because we had to deplete all her savings, about $30,000. But at uh, seven, $8,000 a month, when all that money was gone, they don't throw anybody out. They just get f the people who, you know, contribute to take care of it. So they took well, care of you. it. What? Wealthy Jews. Wealthy Jews. But it worked out pretty well, you know. It really did. Um, 
And they, uh, I remember going there and they were just doing a wonderful job with her. For instance, she had, she was, yeah, she was of the age, she hit 100, okay? So when I had her in there, she was like 93, 94. And she had one hair growing out of her chin. It was almost going down, way down. It was, it was big. First thing they did when she got there is they pulled it out. You know, they wanted to clean her up, right? And uh, she, she, you know, she looked good. They took good care of her, and I appreciated that. By the way, those two eyes you're seeing are those of Will Durst, if you've just joined us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your eyebrows, it's too bad you're not back on stage because your eyebrows are getting to look like, you know, like, like people were used to who are intelligent, who have eyebrows, like Mark Twain. Well, look at that. So what's that bump? What's that dark spot on your head? I think it's a mole or something. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah well, this thing? well, that's the ceiling. We now are looking at the ceiling. Okay. Mm. See, but it's a mole. I mean, this thing. Yeah. Is that new? No. No? Oh, okay. All right. It's more pronounced. Yeah, I just want you well so you can come back to New York and we can have some good times having dinner and talking and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. See some plays. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just I just hope they get you going. You know, we have a guy who calls his show, his name is Jeff, and he had a stroke several years ago. And, you know, he's still affected by it, but he he's pretty much been mended there are certain things he says he can't read he has total inability to read oh wow uh, you know but uh but he's he's i always am very proud of him I'm, he's become a good friend well they got a guy in here yeah who's let's see had if... a stroke had a stroke 35 years ago no and he's still in a wheelchair oh geez well that certainly makes you feel good doesn't it <laughs> Look pathetic again so they can go to the GoFundMe. Ladies and gentlemen, You show the whole face. Whole face. Whole face. Whole face. No, more, more, more. There we go. Look at that pathetic stroke victim. And he needs your money. And you have to go to the GoFundMe and, and just put in as much money as you possibly can. What was the largest donation you got? Do you know? I think a grand. I, I think I saw a thousand. Yeah. yeah, it was some comedian. We got money from Judd Apatow. Really? Yeah. Did you expect it? No, I don't know Judd Apatow. Really? And he saw I it. And... I, don't, I don't remember ever meeting him. You know something? He's very sensitive to comedians because he kind of did stand up, I think, for a short time in his life, and he has a you know he has a sensitivity towards that, and he's got the bucks, so why not do it? You know? Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Judd Apatow. Uh, but yeah. but I, I'm trying to remember, I saw one other that was like a thousand, and it was, I can't remember who it was. I I just wish I were at a time in my life where I had a lot of money and I could send you a lot. I, I think I've made two donations so far. Yeah, I think you made two 500s. No, I didn't make a 500. No, I can't afford oh. that. You know? oh, okay. But I think I think I made hundreds, two, two 100s. <laughs> Uh, Appreciate it. But listen, folks, if you send 10 bucks, that's a good deal. You know, that's yeah. a terrific. Hey, you know what we're doing here? I just realized it. We're doing a telethon. Well, that's what you said in the beginning. Yeah, we're doing a telethon. Uh, so everybody go to GoFundMe right now. Go to GoFundMe. Look up what? Just type in Will Durst. Yeah. And then... Uh, 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 and look for his forehead, and then, uh, <laughs> then, then, uh, hey, your wallet. You, you, you just make like a donation of 10 bucks or whatever. And your wallet, yeah. Also, I think they ask you if you want to add another couple of bucks to uh, take care of the cost of GoFundMe. So do yeah, that. Sell, sell do, all the stocks in your portfolio. Yeah, yeah. Unload, yeah. Unload all the stocks in your portfolio. Yeah, but uh, no, it's it, it. You know, I did that before Y two K. Did you really? 
before Y2K. Were yeah. you worried about it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How do you feel now? Well, I had bought Apple at eight. Yeah. And then sold it, so I feel like an idiot. Oh, you bought it at eight. But what did you yeah. sell it at? I don't know. I think it was 10 or 12. Really? What is it now? Uh, a couple of a hundred at least. Oh, yeah, at least. But it's also split seven times, four times, two times, two times. Yeah. Two yeah. times, three times. When did you buy Apple? When it was down and out? Yeah, well, well you know, when it was eight. So that was a period of time where like, they were in trouble financially. Like after the first uh, dot-com bust. Right. So uh, was this... Was pre-2000. Was it pre-Steve Was it pre -Steve Jobs coming back? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you, you know, today that would have been worth a lot. You know, I could. you wouldn't have to do a GoFundMe if you still had that stock. How many shares did you have? Oh, uh, I think a thousand. A thousand shares. Uh, let me see here. Apple stock. Let me look it up here. I can find out in a second. Apple stock. Uh, Apple Incorporated. Real-time stock quotes. Uh, Meritrade. I don't want that. I don't want that. Here it is. The current Apple uh, price. You ready? $161.84. And now that may have split and done other things where you would have made money, but if that eight were just the thousand shares were today, that would be... Uh, 161,000. Huh? 161,000. 161,000, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be worth 161,000. Here's the one that I, that always bothered me. you can me. retire on that. Here's the thing that bothered me. When I was at Apple, uh, when I was at Sirius XM, they got to a point where they just bottomed out on their stock. They were almost going out of business, okay? And the stock. Yeah, they were like 14 cents no, a share. No, they were 5 cents a share. Five cents a now, share. they're not a big stock right now. They're up around six bucks. But if I had bought and I could have afforded ten thousand dollars in shares at five cents a share today, I'd be a multimillionaire. You know, so I uh, another one of my mistakes in life. Yeah, yeah, that's 20 shares for a buck. Yeah. Yeah. So if you had ten thousand yeah. dollars, ten thousand times 20. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, uh, ten thousand times twenty. I don't know. It's two hundred thousand shares, something like that. Uh, I'd be pretty. I'd be doing okay, you know. At six or seven, yeah. whatever they're at. Yeah. Let's see your uh, full face again. I have to keep reminding you. Can you see Sorry. your face in the in the camera? I can. Yeah. So okay. look at it, then frame it, so that you know. I know it's difficult because you probably have to do it with one hand and you're probably raising it, right? The other, well, how's, how's the hand doing, the bad hand? The bad hand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can, can you make bad a- Bad hand! Can you make a fist? Let's see. Can you make a fist? I should be there doing your physical therapy. Yeah, you should be getting money from Medicare. <gasps> Yeah, so, well, okay. We're gonna start a GoFundMe for me. I, I, you know, I, 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 I don't. Uh, of course, I, I, I don't need it. I just got a windfall here. Um, but I won't talk about exactly what it was. But you know, we've been in court with my apartment. You know that story, yeah. right? Yeah. So we finally settled with this guy. Give him seventy five thousand dollars to go away and let us have the apartment. Meanwhile, he had to continue with his case. I can't even see you now. Your forehead is there. there okay. Uh, and uh, the trial went on, and then it was between he and the landlord. And it was said that we were going to pay so much money, but that was based on uh, uh, the premise that the end of that case would determine what the actual price of the apartment was. You got me? Yeah. So... He, the judge finally made a determination, just savaged the landlord, said he was incredible, 
blah, 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 blah. He awarded this guy uh, $203,000, a guy we're also paying seventy five to. So he came out okay. But we came out okay because we got the apartment, right? And our rent was going to be $2,225. Not bad for what we've got here, you know? The judge stated that the price had to be rolled back to its, 2000, uh, to its 2004 price. I won't tell you what it is. Is that when you first moved in? No, not when we first moved in. When, when uh, the guy who leased this place and then leased it to us moved in. Okay? Ah. And the rent on this apartment at that time was five hundred dollars and four cents. Four cents? Yeah. The judge rolled it back to that price. Four cents? Five hundred bucks and four cents. Yeah, four cents. I don't know why the four cents. Uh it may not hold. It may have to be a different work, uh, how they figure it out. But the price of this apartment back in 2004 and the established price that by the... That ain't bad for 4,000 square feet in New York. Well, in, uh, for 2,500 2, square feet. We Is will, that uh, Yeah. If, if that were to hold, this apartment, Seems we would have to pay $500 a month in rent. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You know, uh, but yeah, it'll, probably, it'll probably be more than that, but not... Vastly Broke more than much. that. Yeah. yeah, it'll be up around the eight hundreds, nine hundreds. But I mean, it's it it. I mean, I I can talk about it because it's a court case that's you know that's on record now, which you can probably, if you're a lawyer, you can go online and look at the judge's determination. So Hell, anybody not, can. So I'm not telling tales out of school here. And knock on wood, we'll be paying anywhere between about five hundred and eight hundred dollars a month for this apartment. Congratulations. Isn't that great? You know, and we didn't expect that as an outcome. We were happy with the outcome as it was, you know, but uh, this was the first real nice thing that's happened in this situation for us. But anyway, so uh, uh, have you been practicing your comedy? No. Have been doing any skits and sketches? No skits, no sketches. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. I am. What I want to do is I want to do one commentary a day, a video commentary. Yeah. And put it up on Facebook and. Yeah. Well, you got, first of all, yeah, the, I, mean, I could help Instagram. you. With, I could help you with that. I mean, we could. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. I, I, I don't do Instagram, but I do, uh, you know, I do have, uh, I, uh, uh, th this for instance, will go up on YouTube it will go out live when I do the program. Uh, so, you know. And plus, it's it's a telethon for Will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once again, it's... it's For uh, Will. Give me, give, me, give me the look. Give me the... There we go. You know, you can, you can send money to this guy, or you can let him continue to be in a vegetative state. Look like you're in a vegetative state. Uh, so... Uh, please, yeah, everybody, do donate that. right now to Will Durst at GoFundMe. Green beans. What? The chef, the chef here. Yeah. You he must have bought a 55 gallon drum of green beans. Really? It's always green beans, huh? A lot of green beans. Yeah. Is the food. And yeah. almost every dessert has roasted apples there. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. No, no, I like roast, or I did like roasted apples. How was the food at that place? Baked apples. Food is pretty good. Really? Really? Where are yeah. you? What's the name of the, the facility? It's called The Villages at uh, Hayes Valley. And that's in San Francisco, right? Yeah, that's right on, I'm right on Laguna. Oh, okay. Between, between Grove and Hayes. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where all that is. I lived there all my life, and then now i got to remember where these things are. You know, the other day I was trying to remember the name Lombard Street. You know. Which part? Well, there the are several part? parts. There's the, the curly road going down. Yeah, that's the thousand block. That's the thousand block. Then you go down the other side and you go down across the 
the edge of the marina and you wind up at the Golden Gate Bridge. So that's Lombard right. Street in San Francisco. Right. And if you go the other way, you end up in North Beach. Really? Hey, you know, I just looked and we've run out of time. Oh, no. Yes. See how time oh, flies? Uh, well, that's another 24 hours, uh, 24 minutes that you've been lying in bed. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, stick around after we're finished here. Uh, uh, give me the, just frame your face perfectly, okay? And give me the most pathetic look you can give me. Okay, you, you've, been, you've been very good at, oh, oh, good, oh, good. Okay, we're getting, we're getting the full Monty. Wait a minute, we just got your eye. You gotta look pathetic. Here we go down there. there that's you. just my normal look. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's Will Durst. GoFundMe.com. Look up Will Durst. Send yeah, yeah. your dimes, yeah, yeah. your dollars. Like the March of Dimes. If if a million of you out there all send a dime. It's $100,000. It's $100,000. And so I'm asking you to do that now. It's, for this. It's the holiday season. It's a, it's a time for giving. It's a time for giving. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. That's my old friend and the guy I think of in a very nice way who uh, is named Will Durst. Thank you, Will. Thanks for having me, Alex Bennett.